Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. Let's talk about how to play Speech Bubbles by The Smile. Okay, let's get right into it with chords and melody, and then I'll talk a little bit about some of the uh, rhythms I'm using and some of the arrangement I did. My version was improvised, but um, I'm still kind of using some general ideas to create to, what to create what I created uh, for the channel. So let's talk about right at the top there. We have three different chords. There's a E flat major seven. Major seven means you add that D natural. A flat major, B flat major. And it goes back to the E flat major seven again. And the way I voiced it is I dropped the root out of the bass. And I kind of did this like first inversion on the G. And then I kind of, just to kind of set the mood, I'm just kind of like playing around with these notes in the chord. And then I'm just kind of going up, up different octaves going down, you know. I did put the E flat in the bass eventually. Um, but I the idea where I was coming from was, you know, there's kind of this like blurred synth organ sound at the beginning. And so I was trying to recreate some of that emotion in, in my improvised version. Um, so just kind of, you know, playing around with different voicings of these, of these notes in this chord. And then, you know, you know, going to the A flat, B flat, and then, you know, then you start to set the rhythm because, you know, in the recording, there's that drum beat going. So one of the things I did to set the rhythm was kind of like that boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, da, ba, da, right? So kind of setting that. Another thing I did was putting the E flat in the bass sometimes. You know, adding that deeper note in the left hand will kind of like fill out the sound a little bit, give a little bit of depth, a little bit of variety between like the middle and the upper chords. You know, just just experiment on your own on your piano to kind of like figure out how you would want to set the stage there. Um, the melody comes in on A flat, so we have that E flat major seven chord, and we we run for the hills, right? And it's just the chords are changing there. So I kind of did a little bit of the rhythm underneath. And then we run like fools is the next line. I know you're not singing it, but it helps me to sing it in my, in my head. Right, and I'm adding some of the rhythm in my right hand too. And it's uh, Our City is in Flames. One of the things I did was on that octave, I started like walking up a harmony um, on the A flat. Just, and it kind of makes it clashy. It's gonna depend on if you like that sound or not. Um, then the bells ring, uh, Tom sings the bells ringing twice. And I really did take my time here. I was kind of messing around with the melody, uh, improvising, you know, not, not necessarily following too strictly to uh, the version that the smile created. But anyway, um, the bells, you know, coming out of that into the, now we have this next progression. So we have C minor. I call it like a B flat over C, A flat, G minor, B flat, these are all in root position. A flat, F minor, back to A flat, G minor, and it's C minor. And what I heard was like a like a suspended C minor. And then the the melody will come in, and we're gonna go to A flat, and we're gonna loop this progression.
Okay. Now, I know I didn't say much there. I just kind of wanted to play through it so you could hear it and kind of see what I'm doing with my hands. So, on the beginning of that, where the verse comes in. So, remember how we had this. I'm trying to keep that rhythm going when I put the melody on top. So, I kind of rolled the first chord in the A flat. You know. Kind of, you can roll it like that, arpeggiate it. Arpeggiate it. That's one of the things I did. So, you have the rolled and bum, ba, ba, bum. You have a little bit more syncopated rhythm in, in the left hand there. Another thing you could do is come back down. And then the right hand kind of filled out to keep that rhythm going. Ideally, you, you're letting the melody hang out. So you can kind of see when I speed it up a little bit, I'm putting the rhythm in there and adding a little bit of harmony underneath the melody. So like right there, I got the seed kind of fill out the chord. I'm adding the D in there. I also added the F in my melody in the right hand because it's kind of blurred and it's adding to that suspended sound. So just a few things there. You can take a look at my hands, kind of play through, messing around with that chord progression. Um, we're going to come to the next part. We're going to use the same chords, but we're going to change our melody up to here. And, you know, the lyrics are, who fell again? I'll play it slowly again with the, with the progression. So I'm doing a lot more rolled arpeggios in the left hand. The rhythm has changed here. Now it's more, the rhythm is more steady, right? There's not less of that dun da da dum bum bum ba ba bum. Now it's ba 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 You know, it's it's steadier, less syncopation. So to reflect that in my version, I, I rolled the chords this time instead of kind of like doing the back and forth left hand, you know, syncopated rhythm. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm doing... Also filling out with the right hand um, in between, like kind of filling out the rhythm. One of the things I like to do is come up, you know, either like on that A flat scale or the C minor, you know, coming up so it's like landing on that downbeat, like ba da 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 bum, you know, so you're like building, doing a build up, like kind of scale into that. Um, let's see here. So yeah, um, the finger in there is thumb, two, three, four, and the thumb comes under. You know, just like doing it to, to like create a movement into the next downbeat. So you're just like building the energy into that. So that's kind of what I was thinking of there. Um, let me play it slowly one more time. You know, the right hand does help. It's not necessarily in time either. It's like kind of messy. <laughs> and the idea is, again, just like it's more to build the excitement into the downbeat. It's kind of where I was thinking of or coming from with that. Um, doing some double note rhythm in the left hand to emphasize like driving a rhythm home. Let's see if I can do that again. I don't know 
if that works there or not, but it is something I do every once in a while, and it's more just kind of like off the cuff unless I'm thinking about it. Uh, less that I'm thinking about. It's more just like kind of like added a little bit of rhythm in between everything else to kind of like, you know, you double, you hitting the note more than once and it kind of emphasizes it and gives it some uh, energy and excitement. Um, then our last little bit here is absolutely beautiful because we're coming out of this... C minor into, I love this, love this, love this. E major seven, A major seven, C sharp minor seven. Like a D six with a sharp four in there. G major seven, B minors. I did both these voicings, the B minor, B minor 7, and the B minor 6, going to the C. It's like a C with a sharp 4, sharp 11. F major 7, or F major 9. A minor. B flat major. E flat major 7, or 9. And then it ends on this G minor. Right? And you kind of just have the pedal point in the left hand. And the very last chord to my ear, there's different ways of thinking of it. It's kind of like G minor, sharp five, nine, or. If you want to think of like an F7 over G minor, that's another way to think of it. But basically, kind of there. It's G, E flat, C, E flat, A, C. You can put the F in there too, um, adding that seventh in there for the G. But more or less, that's the chord I was using at the very end. Let me play that last round of uh, chords there without talking. You can kind of see some of the things I'm doing. Let's see here, going, I'll come out of the C minor. rolled, arpeggiated some of those chords up. That wasn't a perfect, my rhythm wasn't quite perfect there, so that would not be a take I would have <laughs> kept and shared. Um, but the rhythms I'm doing there... There's some of those double notes I was talking about earlier. You know, really using some clashy notes in between there to fill out the chords. I really like going to that lower C there when I change that chord. You know, I can walk that voicing down from the 10th to 9th to octave, you know, it's kind of like matching what the right hand's doing there, coming. I mean, So anyway, that's kind of chords and melody where I, was, where I was coming from to create my improvised version. Um, I had I had a hard time kind of 
creating it or coming up with something I really liked. Um, what I ended up doing that was helpful to me I, as I loaded the, uh, the the music into my my workstation. I used Cubase and I actually slowed it down a bit so I could practice the rhythm slowly, you know, like this. You know, so I could feel myself like really trying to get into the groove of that rhythm there. Um, so I could kind of develop the feeling for it. Um, so it took me a while to kind of figure it out to where I, to where I could play it where I wanted it. And, you know, if I were to keep playing it and keep working on it, I could definitely polish some things or change some things. But I hope this is helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel and... Uh, to patron Cherie, or Cherie, I, I, in case I mispronounced your name, I'm very sorry, but thank you so much for suggesting it and for your support. And yeah, um, check out my version if you want to see where I'm coming from. If I did something completely wrong, let me know and we can learn together in the comments. Um, but otherwise, I will catch you next time and thank you for watching.